3.20 in the morning, which is ridiculous, but I guess because Sapa is not actually that far It's only about six hours and I guess five and a half hours if there's no traffic at night um, We got dropped off in the middle of Hanoi like Surrounded by these thieves basically like and by thieves. I mean taxi drivers They wanted extortionate amounts like they wanted about 25 to 30 dollars to drive us to the airport They were trying to haggle us like they would not stop following us and I actually didn't really feel safe uh, just wandering the streets because it was 3.30. So we ended up just following, taking a, a very short taxi to Hello. a hostel. Hello. Hello. Here, you want a photo? And I just made a new friend. Hello. I have no money. Yeah, no, like this. Basically, they follow you and they try to make money from you. But the cab drivers are even worse. Like, they'll follow you and follow you. One cab driver literally followed us for five minutes and then um, went back away until we actually got to the guest house. It was ridiculous. Last night we slept on the floor of a guest house because they were totally full. And uh, we went to the guest house instead of going straight to the airport just because we didn't want to get in those taxis that were clearly overcharging. But anyways, now we are going to the local bus because as I said, we have like only a few dollars and we actually just lost those few dollars. But luckily we found Filipino dollars, so we're going to go find a currency exchange enough to take a local bus to the airport and then we will head to Bali. We're re really trying hard not to take out money from the ATM because like I said last time, it's about $10 in transaction fees and then you have to take out Vietnamese dong and then we have to get it converted so then you have to get like a percentage of your money stolen by a conversion agency. It just makes no sense for taking out like $10. You pay almost $15, dollars Yeah, and we're getting hungry because we haven't eaten. So, the struggle's real. Wait, did we, we got to the airport shuttle, and uh, I only have Filipino pesos left, so I was like, can I pay you in Filipino pesos? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of the time, people don't really listen to you, they just nod their heads and say yes. And so when it was about time to go, I show him the money. He's like, oh, no, 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 cannot, cannot. And that's what they always say. Anyway, so now I'm left scrambling to go find an uh, exchange place so I can get it turned into Vietnamese dong. But in the meantime, we've unfortunately missed our bus. Uh, it left without us, but we're gonna get the later bus like the 9 a.m. So it's no big deal. Just an hour later and we'll still make our flight time of 12, so. That was so stressful. Our bus leaves in like 10, 15 minutes. I'm just a few seconds away now, but I was running to every single friggin' bank trying to find someone who would take Filipino pesos. Like none of them do it. I was unlucky and lucky because there's a little thief sitting outside one of the banks who was doing her own little exchange rates. And for, how much did I pay? I basically got 50% of the value of my money. A little bit less than 50%. So she literally ripped me off. But if I don't get this money right now, I'm gonna miss a bus and miss my flight. So not much you can do. So for like, what was worth about $10 in US dollars, I probably got about, I got four and a half dollars worth. So she got a good deal, played hard and uh, I lost the bargain, but that's okay. I'm gonna make my bus, and at the end of the day, it's five US dollars. Okay, so we're in the airport right now, and we're headed to Singapore. We have 22, I think, hour layover in Singapore, and then we're off to Bali. And yeah, I was in the bathroom just now, and I got asked to take photos again, which is kind of funny, because it just is happening here like, a lot, it seems like. <laughs> um, but we haven't eaten since last night, so we're like currently part of the Hunger Games, I feel like. We are flying Tiger Air to Singapore and we nailed it. It's 20 kilograms allowed. Laura, stop touching it. I want to show the viewers. Let go, let go, let go. Okay, well, Laura ruined the footage, but it's 20 on the. I went. There we go, 20 kilograms. This is the best day ever. Like, my credit card is not accessible online. My e banking's down because of the fraud that happened a while ago. And Laura's credit card and every other card she ever owned is not working, so I've been paying for everything for her forever. And basically, money's pretty tight nowadays because I can't access my credit card and like pay it off. And I think I'm like like dollars away from the limit. But we just had enough to get Burger King. It's actually like a miracle. I feel like I'm in heaven. Yeah. See you guys. I'm gonna eat. And we are off to Singapore. See you later, Vietnam. It's been a slice. Had some good times. Had some really really bad times. But I 
definitely think I'll come back here one day. I really liked it. Overall, I think there's a lot of cool things to see here. And although I've had some experiences with some really bad people here, I think that there's a lot of amazing people too. And they definitely outweigh the bad people. So again, I think next time I come back, I'll do a bike trip through all of Vietnam. And I've really enjoyed it. Laura wants to join the boys trip apparently. And it knows a boys trip. I thought it was like a trip that I could come on. It's likely going to be a boys trip. But I'll bring you guys along. Laura, you can watch my vlogs.